Welcome to the Spider Scribe uh, Unsolved Mysteries video. Um, this video will just give you an uh, example of what your Spider Scribe should look like. This is the organizational tool that you will use to gather and organize your information after you've chosen your mystery. Um, we will have just a basic tree diagram uh, starting here at the top with uh, your chosen mystery and you can just state it as uh, the name of the mystery. For example, I would call this one Loch Ness Monster. Um, the next item that you will uh, attach to your main idea is a description of your mystery. Uh, just kind of tell the viewer what your mystery is about. It doesn't have to be very long. I have a, an example right here. And then you also want to include a hyperlink to a website that provides that information as well. Um, this will uh, give the audience a little bit more information uh, since you don't have a lot of room to put it in this little tiny text box. So this uh, box right here is just a description of your mystery. Now each mystery will have different, different theories about it. Uh, all I want you to consider are two different theories about your chosen mystery. Theories means a belief about that mystery. So uh, as an example, um, I'm going to list my theory one resources over here. That's one set of beliefs about uh, the Loch Ness. And then you'll have a second theory and its resources over here. So basically you will just, uh, in this text box, just label it Theory 1 Resources. And then you'll have, you need to have at least four different websites that provide support for that theory. So if my first theory was that uh, people believed that the Loch Ness was a uh, dinosaur that never went extinct and now it's um, swimming in uh, Scotland's lake, um, then I would need to find resources that supported that theory. Different ones that say, yeah, we agree uh, with the theory that Loch Ness is a real monster and he might possibly be, he or she might possibly be um, a dinosaur that never went extinct. Okay, and all you're doing is just giving me the web address. You don't have to state any of the words um, and just label this Theory 1 Resources. Then there is another theory that perhaps some people were playing a joke on the, on the Scottish people that lived around this area. So my second theory would support uh, that it was a hoax. And each one of the web addresses that I provide would support the theory that Loch Ness Monster is not real, it's just a hoax. And that's how you'll fill out your information for your theories. Again, you can state theory to resources right here, and then in each box you would just copy and paste a web address to a site that supported that theory. Now, the very last thing you're going to do in your spider scribe is as you look at the different details, what would be the most uh, believable argument for this? What If you thought that it was a dinosaur, what made you feel that way? What was a piece of evidence that um, led you to believe that theory one is true? And you'll actually type out that uh, evidence right here in the box that you get from one of your or all of your resources. Then over here on theory two, I want you to do the same thing. Find the most compelling argument or the most believable evidence they found to support this theory. And you'll actually explain it in this box right here. And that will uh, conclude your spider scribe for your unsolved mysteries. These are all of the web resources that you're going to use for your next step, which is designing your own website. You will uh, proceed to the next assignment post. You will find your video as well as your uh, requirements for the next step uh, of this assignment.